Sagittarius. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly love and general reading for the week of October 9th to the 15th, 2017. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. So Sagittarius, please keep in mind if the reading does not resonate with you. Look at your moon, your rising signs. And for love, look at your Venus sign. We are going to be using Tarot of Sexual Magic. So, if you don't know what that is, I have a birth chart linked right underneath the video. That could calculate that for you, for free. You know, those of you that would like a private reading, would like to connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, links to all of my social media are right beneath all of the videos. I'd love to have you guys follow me on Facebook. I am running a contest right now for a free reading. It's 14 cards, love cards. It's a $100 reading. On Instagram, I do draw and upload a daily oracle card message every single day. Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising signs. Your cards feel good, guys. Using um, the Ghost Tarot. It was actually gifted to me from somebody, whoever did that. Complete act of kindness. Two decks. I love these cards. Okay. Nine of Cups. Got how different in this deck. Empress. Ten of Cups. Okay. So, Empress, loving, caring, nurturing. Some of you could be giving birth to something new, like a creative project, um, you know, could be a new job, starting your own business. For my women, Sagittarius, this is very fertile energy. If you've been trying to conceive, absolutely give that a go this week. You know, this, this could be something very emotional for you. You've been trying to expand your family. You know, this is a wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups. Um, content, happiness, bliss. I mean, really beautiful, abundant energy. Um, you know, if you've been trying to even, you know, start a business, you could be a business owner, giving birth to new ideas, starting your own business. You know, it's wish fulfillment, happiness, abundance. You know, really feeling in a really good place emotionally, even with the Ten of Cups. Family could be important this week. This is, you know, a happy ending to something emotional. I really do feel beautiful guys it's a beautiful reading so far you know i feel full emotional fulfillment for you guys this week for a very small small number of you could be over analyzing your love life look at the chariot Okay, Cancer. The the sign of Cancer. I know it's, a, it's okay, Sag. Seven of Cups. I guess I'm holding them up a little longer so you guys could see them. The King of Pentacles. The Ghost Tarot. Okay, so with the chariot, some of you definitely could be dealing with a cancer, but this is, guys, this is the ultimate victory and success card. Okay, you are in the driver's seat. You are absolutely controlling and lighting the way as to where you want this chariot to go. You're, you're 
You're in the driver's seat. You're in control. You have the power. Ultimate victory and success card. Again, Seven of Cups. I feel like you're looking and analyzing all of your options that are there in front of you. Whatever it is that you're starting, you know, whether it's starting your own business, a new job, a new relationship, trying to figure out where you're, where you're going to emotionally, what's going to emotionally fulfill you, you know, the most. You know, you are looking at other options. One of them for you is a wish come true. This could be a confusing energy too. You know, some of you are just confused on which way to go. You know, with, with the Empress, you know, whatever you started... in the past, will be successful with the Empress. We know this, right? So, go with your heart's desire here. Whatever it is, it is going to emotionally fulfill you. And with the Empress, whatever you start, it will be successful, abundant. An earth sign person for some of you with the king of pentacles could be important you know, this is someone that is grounded practical always in control for some of you i feel like this person could be in control of your happiness you know, this could be your boss i just feel like You're looking at other options with your, you know, for those of you that this resonates as far as career, you know, with starting your own business, a new job. And I, you know, for others of you, I feel like this is a person that you're dealing with and you're thinking about your situation with them. So let's get some clarifiers on that with the Witches Tarot. You know, let me just point this out too. With the, I mean, the moon is in a lot of these, not a lot, but a, a few, a, a good handful of cards in this deck. I do feel like a lot of you with the Chariot are really listening to your intuition, following your intuition. Whoa, almost lost the whole deck. <clears throat> Look at this card. So I think, you know, we, we know that this card is, you know, there's big changes for you guys. It's a card of good luck, karma, destiny, things happening the way that they're meant to happen. Divine timing is at play. But I feel the time is now. This way, with this card, I love this card in this deck card that really, this is one of the cards that really drew me to this deck. In the upright, the time is now for you guys. It's fall. If it was in the reverse, of course, you know, aside from the fact that things would be moving much slower, you'd feel stuck. But springtime. I love this card. But, you know, it's in the upright, 
and things are moving. You know, you're at the end of a cycle with this card. You know, it's destined. This is meant to happen. You're at the end of a cycle or a chapter in your life and you're moving on to the next cycle, chapter within your life. Wow. I just talked about this card. How if, if it was in the reverse, it would you would feel stuck. I feel like this is definitely being hung up, stuck, trying to figure things out. We all have to, wow. You guys are listening to your intuition, following your intuition. With both with both of these cards, look at this. The clarity is at the bottom of is at the bottom. The moon. I, you guys probably have been stuck for a very long time. But this wheel, guys, really is starting to turn in your favor. With the chariot, I just feel like you really are, again, analyzing. Definitely trying to figure things out. Things are coming in. Things are doubt. Clarity is coming through. I said that before with the chariot. With the chariot, you're using your intuition. Maybe I didn't say clarity coming through, but I definitely feel like it is now. Or, or you're getting... You know, that clarity is coming to you for some of you, you know. With you analyzing, you're figuring things out. You're listening to, to your intuition with trying to figure things out. What path do I take? I think a lot of you will figure it out this week. You will move on to this, to this next chapter. And it is something that you have wanted for for years, probably. Uh, this is a long time. But this is a huge, major... You have three major arcana cards here. No, I just realized that. What's at the bottom of this deck? Just for shits and giggles. Oh, I can't make this shit up. Look at the moon in this card. When is our next full moon? The 19th. The new moon. Listen, guys, there's a lot of major arcana cards here for this to play out over a week. But, but now, with the moon being at the bottom of this deck, I really feel like a lot of you, and with all of this energy here, are going to absolutely learn something. And the Six of Pentacles is behind that. You know, that giving and receiving, receiving a decision, receiving something, enlightenment, clarity. You're going to learn something, find something out. Something's coming to light. You know, I love the moon in this deck because we know like the high priestess has, you know, the book of the book of knowledge. You know, she's also very spiritual and secretive. And I really feel like with the moon in this card, in this deck, just like with the chariot, you got, you are in control. You have all the power this week, Sag. And by the next full moon, which is, I'm looking right at the calendar, the new moon is on the 19th. Between now and then, you're going to learn something significant. The time is now. Fall. We have the Nine of Cups. We have a star right in the middle here. Wish fulfillment, abundance. It's just beautiful. I hope your love rating is just as nice. <coughs> so sorry, guys. Um, just beautiful. Happiness. Really? That was a fluke to look at the bottom card. I haven't done that for not one sign. And I think I only got two more after you guys. Maybe three. I lost I some. I lose count. I just keep going. Okay. Sag. 
Venus sign for love. Sagittarius. Venus in Sagittarius. Love messages. October 9th to the 15th, 2017. I do not read these in reverse. Okay, Sag. Um, for those of you that are new, these cards are not the same meanings as the meanings in this deck. This deck is... You really got to use your intuition. They're hard enough in the in the upright. But I know them in the upright, I promise. But I'm not, I'm not into the reverses yet. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right. I have no idea what this card is, but that is going to be the first one. Because it literally landed right on the palm of my hand. Queen of Cups. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, a Water sign. Guys, no gender for those of you that are new. Um, private readings that matters for me, but not in the generals. Okay. Six of Pentacles. I do apologize. I forgot to mention that these are sexually explicit. I'm so sorry. Tarot of sexual, ma sexual Magic and the Ten of Wands. Okay. So, I feel like this is you being... A little upset with the Six of Pentacles. Maybe even drinking your sorrows away. This card. Due to something that has been a long time coming. A lot of you, I feel like, are ending relationships, guys. I'm sorry, I'm going to be very honest. As of right now, I do. Starting a new chapter, I feel like you're doing it with a lot of emotional stability. You have thought about this for a long time. The Five of Pentacles, you want to create something, a loving environment. The Seven of Pentacles... And the Emperor, the sign of Aries. You want to create a loving environment where you're understood. Some of you absolutely need a mental break. Or you want control. You know, the Emperor could just could be just like this King of Pentacles. Like I said before, in control of everything. You know, some of you could be dealing with an Aries, or this could be you taking control of your own life. You know, there is a lot of emotional stuff going on here, and I think some of you really need a break from it. This is crazy right here. I'm just seeing this. The Seven of Cups. You know, you're looking at all these options that you have before you. We have the Nine of Cups. The Ten of Cups. The Eight of Cups is missing. The Eight is where you leave something behind. Emotion, and, and, then, and then you emotionally move forward. With the Chariot, I feel like 
some of you definitely are def some some of you definitely are others of you will 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 probably still be deciding between the nine of cups and you're analyzing your 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 emotional fulfillment. Ten is the ultimate happiness and emotional fulfillment. You know, like I was saying before, you know, with the eight that's not here, you know, is leaving. Let's see if it's at the bottom. What the heck am I talking about here? Just for shits and giggles. Oh, the fool. Definitely you're walking out and starting something new. And you guys are dealing with an Aries. Unbelievable. I can't make that shit up. But but this is what you're moving toward. Is 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 that emotional happiness? Moving forward with the chariot, I feel like you definitely are others of you will probably still be deciding, analyzing. For some of you, some of you, you just might not be doing and doing that. You know, you're analyzing. You know, you need a rest, a break. Others of you, with all these tens, the wheel of fortune, now the fool. I see you definitely walking away. Starting a new beginning. And what's and what's most beautiful about all of this is that emotionally you're staying completely stable and solid and grounded through all of this. I have a feeling like for some of you it, it's it I have a feeling to where some of you feel you know, where you have been there, done that, you know, not going down this road again. Let's uh, clarify that. The Everyday Witch Tarot. So this is a fantastic, a fantastic, amazing deck. I like it a lot, a real lot. I bought this myself this year, but I love it. Amazon. Totally an Amazon queen. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Let's get some clarifying cards for Sagittarius. Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay, in this deck, specifically a Pisces, okay, I'm not seeing Cancer or Scorpio in this card, okay. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. You guys are definitely dealing with a water sign. The Knight of Cups. Look at all those bubbles. Wow. Okay. So, with the Knight of Cups, I mean, this is definitely you being in control of your emotions, and the Knight is you taking actions on those emotions. And always in my readings, especially in the love, you know, if it's not, and like this, you've been, I can't even believe that this is at the bottom of the deck. The Seven of Pentacles, you've been waiting a long time. I've been saying that for, since the beginning of the, since your general. It's just, I could just, it's there. 
Page of Pentacles. Listen, guys, this is definitely beautiful. Taking action on those emotions. After doing thinking, you're going to move forward and take the steps necessary to bring emotional happiness into your life. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You couldn't ask for really one of the one of the nicest yet. Okay, I am going to get you an additional um, guidance card. It's an oracle card. Sorry, I need my coffee. You may have seen me use these last year. The um, Halloween oracle. It's the season, so I'll probably use these every week until Halloween's over. I've missed them. This isn't your typical oracle deck either. There's only um, 36 cards as opposed to 44. But really an amazing deck. I like it a lot. And I'm not really even a fan of Halloween. I'm going to be very honest. I like the fall stuff, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the Witch's Tarot. But I use that all year round. And I love this Everyday Witch Tarot. And, and this is just amazing. This deck. Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Additional Guidance. What else does Sagittarius need to know? Please show me. Okay, thank you. It's going to be it. Black Cat. Fortune meets opportunity. Wow, guys, this is just amazing. This, just like, I can't even, I cannot make this up, guys. These two cards together. I mean, to come out together in the same reading, I'm pretty blown away by that. I mean, it's a good karma, good luck, good fortune. Um, wow. Um, abundance, happiness. You know, and just with this card too, Know that your luck will even be like 10 times luckier if you take advantage of every opportunity, which ironically with the Seven of Cups, that comes to you. Take every opportunity. Wow. Wow. Opportunities are endless with this with this card. Fortunate events brings in opportunities. You know, this brings in opportunities. And I feel like this could be coming in just like that for some of you. For real. Leave your comments, guys. Let me know how it goes for you. Right down to your Oracle card. Love when that happens. Just beautiful clarification for the whole reading. It's amazing. Love when that happens. All right, guys. I hope the reading helps you out for the week. If not, catch me next week. Or look at your Venus sign for love. Um, your moon, your rising signs for the rest. I will see you guys back here soon with the morning cards. Those of you that don't follow me with them, I will see you back here with next week's weeklies. Till then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.